Story Corner Special Edition, presented by Jennifer. The Musical Secret Admirer, A Christmas Mystery. Evelyn Hertz held up a package and smiled at her niece, Allison. I found this on my doorstep, she said excitedly, lifting the lid so Allison could peer in at its contents. Inside was a beautiful mirrored music box, topped with a miniature woman wearing a wreath of holly berries on her head. It plays with green sleeves. Evelyn wound the music box and swayed as the figure turned. Who's it from? Allison asked. The card said, from your secret admirer, and it's typed, so I have no idea. Allison smiled. Sweet, any suspects? Evelyn blushed. I bet it's one of the three men in my cookie, cooking class at the community center. Will you help me find out? Sure, you teach a class tonight, right? Yes, tonight we bake Christmas cookies. You can come and do a little digging. At six, the two women, laden with cooking supplies, entered the center. Immediately, a handsome man with a mustache rushed up, relieving Evelyn of her co container. Murray, meet my niece, Allison, Evelyn beamed. She'll be helping all of us make our gingerbread men tonight. He took his, her hand and smiled. It's a pleasure to meet you. Suddenly, a second man entered the room and saluted. This is Sam, Evelyn said, introduce, introducing the silver-haired man. She turned to face her third pupil, Klaus, who had a heavy German accent. With the rest of the class filling in, Allison made small, small talk with the three gentlemen. All three were widowers and great admirers of her aunt's cooking and her aunt. I was a history professor, Murray explained, flowering his workspace and rolling out dough. I love learning new things, so I take as many classes as at the, as the center offers. He smiled. But I must say that Evelyn's class is my favorite. Mine too, Sam grinned and patted his stomach. And not just because eating is my favorite hobby. Allison laughed gaily at his good nature smile at Evelyn. That makes three of us, Claus echoed as Evelyn's face lit up. A few minutes later, Evelyn said, All right, time to put our gingerbread men in the oven. We'll sing Christmas carols while they bake. Ladies first, the three bachelors chimed, and both aunt and niece broke out into a song. It was Let It Snow, which seemed to call forth the snow flurries down outside the classroom window. Then Evelyn pointed to Claus. An excellent singer, Claus delighted the group with Silent Night. Next up was Murray. It was... It wasn't Christmas without jingle it isn't Christmas without jingle bells, he smiled. Last up was Sam. My favorite is what child is this? But if I sing by myself, I'll clear the room. Just then the oven timer buzzed and he grinned. Saved by the bell. As the gingerbread men were pulled from the oven, Allison decided her aunt would be lucky to have any of the three of her secret admirers. But one could have but only one could have delivered the package. And the answer couldn't have been more clear to Allison. She pulled Evelyn aside as the men frosted their cookies. Her aunt smiled. I knew it. Sam was the secret admirer. When Allison heard him say his favorite Christmas carol was, What Child Is This? She real, realized that the tune and green sleeves, which played in the music box, are the same. After telling her aunt, Allison walked 
the rest of the students out while Evelyn approached Sam. His eyes confirmed Allison's suspicions, and he and Evelyn married one year later.